to be honest. Diane is ahead of me and I feel like she hid behind a tree to scare me because that's something she would do. <laughs> yes? I was going to move your bear, your bear canister. Are you being serious? Yeah. I was gonna Look at, first she tricks me that there is a bear coming. I'm never doing that again. I'm never doing that again. But I was going to like move it somewhere and like, <laughs> so like, well, oh my god! <laughs> and then put it somewhere really funny, like on top of like a boulder or something. I can't take her anywhere. This was, was a mistake. I'm the worst person. To this was a mistake hiking with her. These are my bruises from my pack. Uh, having it sit on my like open skin. So today I'm going to wear a long sleeve because this sucks. Good morning, day three on the Tahoe Rim Trail. There's mosquitoes everywhere. Whew. So yeah, it's a little bit cold this morning, but it feels great. And I didn't get the best night's sleep because I woke up abruptly at right before 1 a.m. because a large creature was walking around the campground and breaking a ton of twigs and just making noises and I thought we were doomed. So I stayed up for like an hour just trying to listen and um, then I, I calmed down, the noises went away and then I went back to sleep. It's a little bit earlier today than it was yesterday but because we're not meeting my dad until Wednesday, early, uh, Wednesday morning, um, we have some the next couple of days to kind of chill and not do a ton of miles. So we're pretty excited to start this beautiful day. Hello again. Oh, so I put a long sleeve on this morning. <laughs> Die mosquito. And my shoulders are already so beat up that it still is unbelievable pain, unbelievably painful, but maybe this will help prevent any more damage. I just blew a snot bubble, sorry. Whew. So yeah, it's pretty painful, but I just think uh, wearing a tank top with a pack was not a smart idea on my part. So I'm never gonna do that again. You live and you learn, but um, it's about 8.30 in the morning and Diana and I have started our day. Um, compared to yesterday, there won't be as much climbing, so it should be a pretty good day. Um, we only need to go about 12 or 14 miles. So just taking it easy and enjoying the beautiful outdoors. Yes, I'm already out of breath, which is not a good sign. Got my pink sunscreen on my freckle. See? Yep. Feeling very starbursty. Oh, okay, better pay attention. The ground is rocky. Bye! It's so green. The mosquitoes are eating me alive. They're, they're miserable. They're very miserable, but I have some hope because we just passed a few people going the opposite direction and they said coming up, there are no bugs or mosquitoes. And I don't really believe them, but I'm going to really hope and pray that they were telling the truth because I have like a ton of bites all over my body and they're just today, like right now, the worst they've been the whole trip. So see, they're just biting my arms. <laughs> Little monsters. I know, we won't be able to see them. I'm gonna try. There's some deer. I hope they come across. There was a little deer and its baby, but I couldn't get a good shot of it. They were so cute. Diana and I are just taking a break and she was telling me a story and then I was like hearing something. And I see this like tan figure like slowly walking by and I was like, it's a mountain lion. But it wasn't. No need to be alarmed. 
I like legit, you know, this whole area doesn't bring back the best memories for me, so. <laughs> Don't you start. Oh, there you are with your fruit snacks. That's all, all she does is down. eat her fruit snacks. Fruit snack addict. This looks like a perfect break spot. Our first lake! I think there's an ant trying to kill a fly, which is sad, but... Nature is so savage. So this lake is Richardson Lake, where Diane and I were trying to make it to last night, and then we realized we're on yesterday, you know, day two of our hike, and we're like, we don't need to hike 15 and a half miles, so we're here now, and it's very beautiful. Yeah, we're just gonna keep trucking along. There's another lake we are going to make, make it to today. Oh man, I'm so tired. Diana and I were just cruising and we finally stopped and I looked at my gut hook app and realized that we passed the, the boundary of Desolation Wilderness. So I dropped my pack and I walked all the way back here because I wanted to get a picture and video of the sign. Oh, and there is no sign. So let's see if you can see this. So this is my app and I'm right on top of the sign but it's not here. Yeah, we didn't see it. That's why, that's why we were confused. We're like, whoa, did we just blow past it? But either way, I'm here to let you know we have officially entered the Desolation Wilderness. And I can't believe I just walked this far back and I have to walk it back again for a video and a picture I couldn't even get. Where did the sign go? Where did the sign go? But since I have to walk back, I might as well just say that um, I know I've done this section of trail before but when it's just like wooded and you know just green it kind of looks the same so it's it's kind of like a new trail right now but um, the grade is really nice so we are climbing a lot and you know there's a lot of ups and downs but because it's so like gradual it's really nice it's not like these massive steep hills right now um, just a lot of like this so it's been pretty pleasant and I like that because my dad can only meet us on Wednesday in the afternoon it's allowing us to kind of take our time spread out the miles there's no rush it's really nice it's really nice to be able to not have to worry about making all these miles before lunch or something so Yes, it's so beautiful. This is what we're doing right now. Delirium has started to set in. This is what the last couple miles have looked like, maybe even more. We're seeing more boulders and granite, a lot of, you know, dead, down trees, but a lot of beautiful, healthy, live trees with this bright green moss that I just love. Look at this tree. Look at all that.
Oh, that breeze feels so good. Yes. Oh, yes, Breeze. Breeze, we need more of you, please. We decided to stop for lunch. It was time. Yeah, it was time. It was time, and then this view is pretty darn good. Oh, great, now he's not gonna. Oh. Hi, little guy. Hi. Oh, he's a little ham. Are you showing off for the camera? Oh, there you go. Okay. All right, he's like, I'm out. Is that her little mosquito net? Yes. Yes. Or fly net. Or fly net. Yeah. Hi. Hey. Yeah. You're catching up. Good, good. You want better if I was riding that horse. I know. Can we hop on? Can we just hop on, man? I feel like I see a sphinxster like flexing, so he might be pooping soon. Oh, man. We got to get that. <laughs> I'm just going to be checking out the Bellman's and if there's nothing suitable there, then I'll go to my So, we toyed with the idea of jumping on your horse. And you, and you would just look back and we were both on us. him. <laughs> That'd be so funny. Hey, well, buddy. funny to us, but I don't not, think not to you I, or I him. I don't think he'd find room. Well, yeah, there's the trail. We'll see. We're waiting for our friends. Oh. Okay, Diana's about to perform a sprint, run, jump on, jump on the, horse. the back. Okay, ready, go. go. Faster, Fa oh. faster, oh. Fast. faster, he's getting away. He's... Oh, you give up, okay. Look at that crazy tree with all those roots. It's wild. Yeah, on those branches. Looks really creepy. Okay, I'm near the top of my second to last climb of the day. It is kicking my butt. Diana and I thought that today would be not a bad day and it turned out to be uh, the hardest day yet. A lot more climbing than we thought happened today, but we're really trying to push it to get to this lake that we wanted to get to this, this morning, we agreed on. So we're pushing ourselves to get there. Yeah, it's just, you know, the first few days of backpacking and getting used to the weight on your back and feeling it throughout your body. It's, it's an adjustment, but we're pushing ourselves and we might even reward ourselves with a little dip in the lake. But all of our hardest parts of the trip so far are the last 0.2 miles of a climb. They seem to go on forever and ever, and that's what this is. So I think I'm almost there. I think Diana's up there eating her gummies. Um, but yeah. This is hard, but it feels so good. And I love this kind of scenery. It's like a bit open with some trees and just stunning. Woo! And now my arm's getting tired, so it's time to go. <laughs>
can see all the little bugs that try to eat me. Little pricks. So that was the lake outlet and we have about 0.3 miles to the lake. It's called Fontanillas Lake and this was stunning. So I'm excited to see what the lake will look like from this perspective. Obviously I hiked it from the PCT but it's so different when you're coming from the opposite direction because it's like a whole new trail. So we're pretty excited and Diana you can see Lake Tahoe from here. What? It's stunning. So we've got this lake outlet and we have to figure out how to cross it without getting our feet wet. Um, so that's what we're figuring out now. Diane is going to go scope out that branch right over there. I could do it. I don't know about you with those little legs. Hey, these legs are meaty and strong <laughs> and they can leap. If not, I might try to make my way around or over this beautiful contraption that somebody put together so thank you oh whoa i missed that all right here i, I go have to carry you on my back rude i'm gonna do it watch me our friends were here This is such a cool looking tree stump. It's all twisted. <sighs> okay, we made it. Today was exhausting. I am very, very tired and we found a campsite. There is not a lot around this lake, but we found one and it's not like right on the water. Um, so we're still a good distance away, but I think it's a combination of my sweat and just like the breeze from the water, but I am so cold. So we just uh, walked down to the lake. I filled up my water bottles. Diana's like washing her feet or something. I don't do that. Um, but yeah, I'm about to set up my tent and get a lot of warm clothes on, eat some food, and then crawl into my sleeping bag. So yeah, today... I don't know how many miles we did, 14, 15, I'll report back, but it was a pretty good day and very excited about tomorrow because we get to camp at Lake Aloha. That was one of my favorite places on the Pacific Crest Trail and if you didn't see my PCT vlogs, um, I'm going to show you this lake tomorrow. I'm excited to show Diana. It's just absolutely stunning. So I can't wait to get there. We're gonna, we only have like 10 miles or something. So it's gonna be a short day and we're just gonna hang out and relax on the lake and it's gonna be awesome. And update, my shoulders, as you saw this morning, were in so much pain and so tender. I had like little tiny open wounds. And although they're still tender, like having a long sleeve shirt just completely saved them. So they feel so much better so I'll ha be having to wear like a t-shirt for the rest of my time backpacking forever. I learned something, I think I learn something every single time I go backpacking but that's alright. So long sleeve for the win. Here's a nightly recap of the feet situation. Pretty dirty. I somehow got bit by something right there and oh the where is it? Oh, you can't see it because of the dirt, but there's, oh, right, right there. It's a bug bite. Just smeared with more dirt. But, oh, how did it get in my sock and my gator? Ooh, what's that? Oh my gosh. Yeah, another bug bite right there. How? Whoa, that's swelling up fast. That's not good. Yikes, this isn't a pretty situation. Oh, and there's my legs. 
It could be like, you're just, these bugs just freaking love you. Yeah, they're just, look at that thing. Whoa. My foot is angry. It's like, I'm watching it spread. Should I press my SOS? Get airlifted out? I'm like, I got a bite. Why is it swinging? Oh, I thought you were gonna say it's missing. Oh, that would have been super entertaining, but I don't know why it's swinging like that. Maybe an animal just leapt from it. <laughs> Literally, a bear can just like get on his two feet and just be like, <laughs> just like that. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, my bear can didn't move at all, so. Good job, forest 